All right, the vials are color coded. The pH is green, nitrogen is red, potass or phosphorus is blue, and potassium is yellow. So what I did is I marked the caps with their periodic table of the elements letter and uh, pH just put pH on. Alright, the soil pH instructions are to fill the test tube to the top line with distilled water, which we've done. Take one green pH testing tab, which I have here, and put it in there. And then take the green cap, fill it with one sample of soil, which I did, and put it into the the tube. Cap the tube. Uh, mix it by inverting it ten times. Two, three, four, seven, eight, ten. All mixed. And it says to let it stand. Um, let it settle for one minute or until a clear colored so a clear colored solution is visible above the soil layer. And then you just match it to the color chart. So we'll just wait and do that. Okay, it's been a little over a minute. Looks like our sample is settled. And I'll tell you what. I got my work cut out for me. Because that looks like between a 4 and a 5 for pH. And I'm thinking it has to be around a 7. So that's going to take a lot of lime. All right, let's go on to the, the other ingredients. All right, I have three sets of samples to do. Number two, this is for the second spot. It's been about a minute. The pH looks better. Oh, that's really hard to tell. Um, jeez. I'm going to call that five and a half. It's somewhere between red and yellow. Like an orangish. So, five and a half. Alright, sample number three. pH is definitely... I'd give that a solid five. For the next part of the test, the nutrient test, that's the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, we have to create this slurry out of uh, some kind of tablet and water, and then mix in the soil, let it settle, and then pour the water into the tubes with another tablet to get the results. So I'm going to do that. Another tool I didn't mention earlier was uh, you need to be able to measure tablespoons and teaspoons. So um, three teaspoons is one tablespoon approximately. Um, so I'm going to use this measuring cup I found in the kitchen here at work. For this next part of the test we had to make a, a solution let it settle with water and a uh, Flock X test tab whatever that is, and then use the water from that solution, the clear water on the top, to run the, the other tests. So then we filled the test tube to the bottom line with uh, that water, and then added a nitrate tab, and we're supposed to shake it for two minutes, and then wait five minutes for it to separate and color develop to develop and then you match the color. Alright, it's been five minutes. Here's our nitrogen solution. And it's supposed to be somewhere between medium and high, and it is low. I'm beginning to see why nothing's growing. Alright, the phosphorus, 
I'm supposed to uh, take one quarter teaspoon of the clear solution from the slurry we made and put it in the tube and then fill it to the top line the rest of the way with the distilled water add one phosphorus tablet which we did and uh, mix until tablet disintegrates and then wait five minutes for color so that's what we're working on all right it's been well over five minutes our phosphorus test we're supposed to match a color up there man I don't even see a color I mean I guess I would say low because that's not very blue at all I mean very very slight blue tint so zero phosphorus okay our potassium test might be skewed because I didn't have enough liquid left in my cup to uh, to fill it to the top line and that's what it required so I must not have used exactly two tablespoons of water to make my slurry which may have skewed the other tests but if anything it made them stronger than what they are so the really weak signals I got really weak readings means that it is definitely very weak so anyways this one might turn out stronger than it actually is because I don't have enough water in there to go with the tablet that I added I'm just supposed to mix this until the tablet disintegrates and then check it against the color chart on the back and uh, so that's what we're doing All right, on my second uh, potassium test, you get a better idea of what it's supposed to look like. You can see through the container because I don't have so much crud in it like I did in the first one because I was using the water right down by the, the junk that was in there, the, the dirt. So I had a lot of dirt in the water. So I think my first test may have been skewed. Um, so you can see through to the black. You're supposed to match the black with how dark the different shades are here. So you just match the cloudiness to the shade here. And I think, gosh, it's hard to tell. I'm, you know, it's a home test kit. I'm just some dude doing this at home. Not a scientist. I'm not a soil expert. Um... I think I'm going to say between medium and high and I'm going to assume that the other test I did was messed up and this particular food plot is has the same type of stuff growing in it and around it and it's only about a hundred yards from the other soil um, from the other area where the food plots going to be that we tested earlier so I'm going to say that they're probably about the same that my potassium is probably between medium and high